Easy, breezy, beautiful. Cover girl. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Riss. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. I'm super excited because I'm doing a full face of cover girl, you guys. Like, what? I'm gonna be showing you how I get this really pretty fun and flirty kind of like girls night out type of vibe using all covergirl products so if you're ready let's go ahead and get started okay so obviously i already have my eyebrows done you guys know i like to do my eyebrows off camera just because it saves me some time um and to fill in my eyebrows i use my covergirl ultra fine brow pencil i have raved about this thing a million times you guys this is like the bomb like hands down the best one of the best eyebrow or drugstore eyebrow pencils so I use that to fill my eyebrows in I think they're looking pretty good if you ask me now my skin however I know like I know girl it looks a mess I've just been going through it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation and my highlight and my contour and all that stuff so to prime, I'm going to be using my CoverGirl True Blend Based Business Skin Primer. This one is the Pore Minimizing Primer. It's the purple bottle. And it says that it visibly reduces and blurs pores while mattifying shine. Creates the perfect canvas for foundation. Long-lasting, weightless feel, oil-free, fragrance-free. Suitable for all skin types. So the only thing that I really don't care for about this primer like i said it's purple i'm just gonna focus this in my t-zone area because um i don't really care for mattifying pro products anymore just because my skin has been just a little bit dehydrated lately i have no idea why maybe i'm not drinking you know enough water but i'm just gonna dot this on and what i like to do is kind of rub this in just like this and it really does do a really good job at filling in my pores because i do have really large pores also i'm going to fill this in my smile lines just like a tad bit i like the smell of this it's not like i think it says fragrance free yeah it says fragrance free but it smells really like clean it doesn't smell like super strong or anything like that it just has a really nice scent to it so now i'm going to move on to foundation i'm going to be using the covergirl true blend matte made foundation and i have two shades right here there is a fly in here girl oh my god so covergirl sent me all of the shades there's 40 shades in this foundation which is incredible for a drugstore foundation i'm sure that you guys have seen the reviews and seen this foundation like a bazillion times here on youtube but now i'm going to show you how i use it because i have a very different opinion of it so like i said i have two shades i have d60 and d50 now covergirl made a post on instagram let me go to the post real quick um, and it was really helpful because both of these shades here like are super duper close to my skin tone I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell the undertone. So we're just gonna go to the post on Instagram So d50 is a deep golden undertone and this is like a warm undertone and d60 is Neutral it's a neutral undertone. Ah, yeah, d60 is way more neutral than d50 d50 is a lot more golden and I like to look really golden So I think I'm gonna go with d50 now. I've tried this foundation more than once and even though it is a Mattifying foundation and even though I have oily skin, I don't like how drying it is I wouldn't say it's drying, but it is super matte and when I first received the PR box covergirl really didn't specify if it was medium coverage full coverage light coverage But upon uh, you know testing it out I discovered that it is kind of like light to medium coverage So I do have to build up the foundation to get it um, You know full of coverage because obviously I have scars battle scars girl because listen i've been battling okay <laughs> so what i like to do instead of using like a bunch of pumps of foundation i'm gonna use my and this is not this is not a covergirl product however it is drugstore so i'm gonna give it a pass but this is the black opal total coverage face and body concealer this concealer is a bomb you guys it's only ten dollars and it's super full coverage so i'm going to take a fluffy brush and i'm just going to apply this in the areas where i want to cover my scars
and as you can see like one swipe of this stuff is so super full coverage i love this concealer okay so now that that's on i'm going to use my beauty blender to apply this foundation but first i'm going to because it's not as damp as it just was a few seconds ago or a few minutes ago i'm going to use my covergirl look lack up all day setting mist just to get this damp a little bit so i'm going to apply two pumps on the back of my hand and as you can see this foundation is super duper thick but I will say that it's very lightweight so I'm just gonna use my beauty sponge to apply this on and just pounce this onto my skin yeah I do like D50 more than I like D60 just because this undertone is gorgeous like covergirl hit the nail on the head when they did these undertones. So like I said, this foundation is not exactly full coverage, but you can build it up without it looking cakey, which is like a pro. So if you're looking for like an everyday foundation that's super lightweight, that's not like super um, heavy, and it looks super natural on the skin, this is your best bet, you guys, because first of all, you're gonna find your perfect shade. Cause CoverGirl, like I said, hit the nail on the head when it comes to these undertones. So most likely you're gonna find yours. Another thing that I really like about this foundation, I'm just getting another pump, like a half a pump on the back of my hand. Another thing that I really like about this foundation is that it is definitely transfer proof. I'm not sure if you guys have seen the commercial for this foundation, but they did a transfer test on a white shirt and it was indeed very transfer proof. And when I wear this foundation and I go to church and I hug people, I usually get nervous <laughs> because my foundation usually comes off on their clothes and I get so embarrassed because I'm like, oh my God, I just ruined this person's shirt. But with this foundation, it does not do that, which is definitely a plus. So as you can see, it looks so skin like now I'm a full coverage gal and if you are too you might have to you know uh, work with this foundation a little bit more guys my dog is snoring so if you hear him I am so sorry oh my god okay so my foundation is on and I am absolutely loving how my skin is looking right now it looks so good now normally I usually set my foundation with a setting powder but like I said since this foundation is matte and my skin is a little bit more on the drier side right now I'm just gonna leave it as it is so now I'm gonna go ahead and contour and highlight I don't have any covergirl contouring products that are dark enough that will um, satisfy my contouring needs so I'm gonna cheat a little when it comes to that but I am gonna use I have two different concealers here this one is the covergirl true blend it's lit um, highlighting stick or concealer this one is the vitalist healthy concealer so this one is a little bit too light and I believe this one is a little bit too dark so um, I am just gonna use this one first I don't know what shade this one is because it doesn't really have it on here but I'm just gonna hope that it does well for me so you do have to twist it for it to come out and I'm just gonna put this underneath my eyes this is actually a really nice shade wow I thought it was gonna be way too light for me but this is really nice and I love the applicator I'm gonna go a little bit on my forehead and I'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose so I like to blend out my forehead and my nose area first just because it is the first to um, dry because I usually use a little bit less product there Ooh, I like how this is blending out oh my god down my nose this concealer is blending out so beautifully oh my goodness now I will say this concealer is super skin like just like the foundation this is really giving me your skin but better vibes like I'm here for it like I am really here for this now I have the covergirl clean professional setting powders I have um, 125 translucent tawny and I have 115 translucent medium I'm not sure if you guys can see the difference but this one is a little bit darker than this one so this powder is very finely milled but it smells like that classic like covergirl back in the day makeup you guys remember when we used to buy covergirl back in the day and it just like had a distinctive smell 
this is what that powder smells like. So I'm pouring a little bit in the lid. Now I'm gonna use my sponge. Oh Jesus, okay, let's see. I don't know, I feel like this might be a little bit too dark, but we're gonna set my forehead and see. Yeah, this is almost, I mean, it's not bad, but it's almost not bright enough. Actually, let me use the other one. I'm gonna use the lighter one for my nose because I like my nose highlight to be a lot brighter than my under eye highlight. Oh shoot, I am getting this stuff. Oh, child, I'm getting this stuff everywhere. <laughs> yeah, this is super bright. Yeah, that's white, white, girl. Ooh, I'm scared. We're just gonna keep this here for the moment. I have an idea of how to fix it if it gets a little too white, but I'm not gonna go too far down because I actually am gonna go down too far because <laughs> I like that brightness like right up in there. So let me just go ahead and do that. Okay, let's get into these eyes, girl. I am going to use my new favorite eye primer. This is the CoverGirl Lid Lockup Eye Primer, you guys. I've said this before in another one of my videos. This eyeshadow primer is definitely a dupe for the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and y'all know that that's like the staple eyeshadow primer but if you don't know now you know so I'm gonna use this just a little bit because this stuff gets really really sticky which is a good thing because we don't want our eyeshadows creasing so I'm just gonna put this on the lid and into my crease Okay, so to start, I'm really excited because I haven't used this palette yet. This is the CoverGirl True Naked Sunsets palette. Look how gorgeous. I'm going to go in with this shade right here as my transition shade. I'm just going to tap my brush just a little bit into this because there is um, a lot of fallout once you pick it up with your brush. And I'm going to blend that right into my crease. Honestly, you guys, I never thought in a million years, and this is the God's honest truth, I never thought in a million years that I would actually like an eyeshadow palette from the drugstore. But this palette, CoverGirl did they thing with this palette, oh girl. So brown girl friendly, you guys, it's like ridiculous. All right, since we have like a think pink theme going on, I'm just gonna keep it in the family. Now I am going to use this pink shade right here and I'm gonna do the same thing. I just kind of want it to be a little bit more pinky instead of, uh, you know, that burnt orange reddish shade. So, ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I think I'm gonna like this. Yo, what the heck, man? What the heck, Kyra girl? <laughs> this is very, very pretty. I am starting to get excited. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this cream shade right here. It looks white on camera, but it's very much cream. And with these kind of shades, you really have to be careful because they're super pigmented and they can go kind of chalky, for a lack of a better term, really quick. So I'm gonna use this angle brush and I'm gonna be very careful, but I'm gonna place this right underneath my brow bone just to kind of fade it in with that transition shade. I'm gonna drag it down. The reason why I'm using an angle brush for this is because it really gets like right up into that, um, that arch area, which is where your brow bone highlight should be. It, I mean, you know, obviously there's no rules when it comes to makeup, but if I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna teach you right. Okay, okay I have another palette that I'm kind of nervous to use because I don't know if I want this to be I don't know I just feel like I need to deepen up the crease a little bit more because you guys know how I am but this is the CoverGirl True Naked Smoky palette let me show you guys and this has like all the smokes in there so if I were to use a shade it will be this black one right here just to deepen up the crease but I am like so nervous <gasps> do I want to do this Mm, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use this, it's like a smoky purple shade right here. I'm gonna use this on the outer corner of my lid and see where that gets me. So I'm gonna use the same angle brush just because it's here and I don't like using a million brushes. So I'm gonna tap it into that shade. I'm gonna knock off the excess. That's how much I have picked up on the brush. And I'm gonna tap this on the very outer corner.
Now I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that pink transition shade that we use. I'm gonna knock off the excess. Now I'm gonna begin to blend out that outer corner. And these shadows just blend so seamlessly. I don't think I'm gonna use the black. I'm gonna use this really pretty deep blue shade right here next to the black. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner as well. And this is gonna deepen it up just a little bit without making it look too, too smoky. Now, we're gonna use my girl Katy Perry's palettes. I have two of them here, super duper cute. One is a little bit brighter than the other. One is a little bit more neutral. I'm gonna use this pink shade right here it's kind of like a berry pink shade I'm gonna saturate my finger just a little bit with the um, covergirl setting spray just like oh my gosh I just got that on my face these shadows are super I don't want to say powdery I just want to say like loose when you pick them up so you do have to kind of saturate your brush or your finger or whatever tool you're using or you will have a lot of fallout underneath here and I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of fallout regardless which is why I still have the powder of here so I'm just gonna tap this yeah this shadow is getting everywhere but it is so freaking pretty now do you see all the sparkles falling out on my face it's like super loose and I'm going a little bit past the crease which is what I like to do this is so pretty wow now I'm gonna use the same blending brush that I've been using and I'm just gonna kind of sweep that just so there aren't any harsh lines but I love how glittery this is like I didn't know that we were gonna go this glittery but since we're here, we might as well do it, girl. All right, now I'm gonna use this iridescent pink shade. This is the cat-like shade in the middle, and I'm gonna tap this in the middle of my lid, and this is just gonna give me some dimension, and I'm gonna use my blending brush again to blend out that harsh lines. The really good thing about these shadows, you guys, they blend out so effortlessly, like, you just literally swipe it once and it's blended, really. So these are from the Katy Cat Wink collection. These are the Katy Perry and CoverGirl collaboration. And they're really just these really pretty, hold on, let me show you. They're these really pretty, like flirty, super flared, kind of natural and light looking lashes. So I'm gonna apply those off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I have my eyelashes on and I really like how they just took this look to a new level. So now I'm gonna do my eyeliner and smoke out my bottom lash line. I'm gonna be using this CoverGirl Perfect Blend Basic Black um, eyeliner. It's just like a basic eyeliner and I really like this one because it's very, very black. So I'm just gonna apply this in my waterline and you guys know how bad I suck at doing this on camera. So I'm gonna try to do this without freaking poking out my eyeball. All right, now I'm gonna take a baby angled brush and I'm going to smoke out this lower lash line even further. So I'm gonna go back into my True Blend Smoky Palette and I'm gonna take that black shade. It's not really too, too black, which is what I like. It's kind of like a, uh, I don't know, maybe like a charcoal gray, but I'm just gonna run this underneath that eyeliner on my lower lash line. All right, now I'm gonna take a, another tiny brush and I'm gonna blend out that um, black with this pink shade that we used in our uh, as our transition shade. All right, it's time to get rid of all of this powder. <gasps> oh, let's see if it is going to remain white under here. I really don't think it's going to. I feel like CoverGirl ain't going to play me like that. I hope CoverGirl ain't going to play me like that. I'm going to use this CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder. This one is in the shade Warm Beige. And it's not too, too light. I know it looks super light on camera, but trust me, it's not that light in person. So I'm going to use... A little bit of this on my brush just to dust away this extra powder underneath my eyes it's not super white under here but it's bright like it's the brightness that I was hoping for so that's good I'm gonna wait to dust off the powder on my nose the only thing that I hate is that this glitter is literally everywhere oh my gosh but all in all I really do like how this is looking like I'm very satisfied so I'm gonna go ahead and contour off camera because I don't have any powders or um, covergirl products that will like I said before suit my contour needs so let me go ahead and do that okay so I have bronzed off camera I really didn't contour because I wanted a soft and flirty 
type of look but I did warm up the perimeter of my face as you can see girl so now we're gonna hit them with a little bit of blush you guys when I found these in the store I went crazy because these were the very first blushes that I used ever like as a makeup artist as a little girl I remember my mom having like a bunch of these because they're so like budget friendly but these are the covergirl cheekers and I absolutely love these blushes because they never fail they just remind me of being a little girl playing in my mother's makeup so I'm gonna use this shade this is the shade what shade is this plumberry glow I'm gonna get enough on my brush and I'm just gonna kind of sweep it on my cheeks just to give me a flush of color nothing too much and I really like this product because it's not like extremely extremely pigmented but it just gives you enough color to where you're like okay yeah this is giving me what I need you know and this one too smells like the classic like covergirl makeup okay so I have a very exciting product this is the covergirl true blends super stunner highlighting palette let me show you guys look how freaking gorgeous I'm not even sure if you can actually like see it on camera you guys but this palette is <gasps> I love it so much I don't know if the shades are on here but I think I'm gonna use this gold color first it's the one in the middle look how freaking pigmented these are you guys i literally did like two strokes and that was it so i have to like i'm gonna do one stroke on camera just to show you guys look how pigmented like you really have to be careful with these highlighters because although they're bomb they can be a little much at times you know what i mean so i'm just gonna put this on the highest points of my cheeks right here oh my god it's like okay so you guys oh my gosh look at that on camera <sighs> my god i think i just went overboard see you see what i mean like you can go so overboard so fast with these things so you have to really be careful or else you're gonna be out here looking like a shining star but what was i saying girl you know how um a lot of these highlighters are very chunky and they have a lot of glitter in them but this highlighting palette is so smooth like i don't think i've ever used a highlighter that is just this smooth and this like fine you know what i mean like there's no glitter it's just it's literally just perfect so i'm gonna use the other color this one is more of like a rose gold shade i'm just gonna put this right on top that is like wow but just look like when i turn wow i am gonna even put a little bit of this in my inner tear duct okay now for my mascara i literally have three different kind right here covergirl is like at the top of my list for the best brand with the best drugstore mascara and i really don't know which one i want to use i have been raving about this so lashy blast pro mascara um but i really like so covergirl sent me this pr package with the flourish um, by last blush mascara and then they also sent the amplifying primer so I have these two I think hold on let me look at this brush I think I'm gonna go with these two just because I've used it before and it like these this pair is absolutely mind-blowing so I'm only gonna use the primer on my bottom lashes but I'm gonna go ahead and use the mascara by itself on my top lashes Now I'm doing this so I can blend my falsies in with my real lashes because I haven't done it yet. All right, you guys, last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. Now I'm super excited because CoverGirl sent me <laughs> this huge, huge box of their new Exhibitionist lipsticks. Now there are 48 shades, you guys, and eight lip liners in this collection and i just like i feel like i should do a lip swatch video thumbs up this video and comment below if you want to see the lip swatch video of all 48 shades so there's this liner in here this is called plum partner let me open it and i feel like i'm very confident that this is going to be a mac night moth dupe so let's just watch it right now and see yep 
definitely a night moth dupe and night moth is literally one of my favorite lip liners ever and when i swatched this it went on very creamy so before i choose my lipstick let's just line the lips with this that went on so pretty like ooh might be my new favorite lip liner okay so I have decadent peach and I have caramel kiss so this is what they look like let me go ahead and swatch them just to see I feel like caramel kiss is gonna be a little too light for my liking actually that's really pretty look at that and I'm not really a big peach girl but that's really pretty and I think I want to give it a shot let's just see let's just see You know what, cover girl? You guys have truly outdone yourselves. Like, I am so shook right now. This look is so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna use my cover girl look lock up all day setting mist just to set everything in place, and that will be the final step. Okay, took a bath in that. All right, you guys, here is the completed look. I just, I can't. Like, this is so pretty and honestly i'm so shocked that i literally as a brown girl just sat here and did a 90 percent full face of cover girl like this is i'm gonna tell you guys and this is like i'm not lying when i tell you this ever since i was a little girl since america's next top model came on the first season with adrian you guys remember that ever since i was young enough to comprehend what makeup was i have always wanted to be a cover girl i always told my mom i said i'm gonna be a cover girl one day and here i am like as a brown girl many 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 years later in 2018 i'm sitting here doing a full face of cover girl makeup and i know it might sound really really corny but this is seriously a dream come true so thank you Thank you so much, CoverGirl, for making my dreams a reality in some type of way. I really appreciate what you guys are doing for the beauty community as far as inclusivity goes. And I am just like, I'm really happy right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you like this look that I created. I am in love with it. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite CoverGirl product is. Let's chat in the comments. Let's talk makeup. That's like my favorite thing to talk about ever. If you're not a part of the family, make sure that you subscribe on your way out. And if you are subscribed, if you don't have your notifications turned on, make sure you hit that notification bell. It's gray, it's on the right side, and and it's not gonna cost you anything. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I love you with my whole entire heart and I will talk to you in my next video.